Uh, not another speeding ticket. I'll fight it in court, but I don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. Meteors are shooting stars. We shouldn't be running. We should be making wishes. I wish for a pony. And I wish you'd take cover. <gasps> How come your wish came true? Hey, this wall tastes like dirt. The game that shattered gender archetypes by putting a little red bow on the pre-existing design! Well, you know, I'm slammed this week. See? Tomorrow, uh, rummage the garbage. Wednesday, rummage the garbage. Thursday, get tetanus shot. Friday, rummage the garbage. I'm book solid. Is this a towel? What am I supposed to cover with that? Are you making fun of me? You wanted to put me in the beginner's class with the little kids. I can't be swimming around with a bunch of five-year-olds. They can be so cruel when they sense weakness. That's why on the first day, you have to beat up the biggest one in the yard. Knuckles, that's prison. Only if you let it be. Oh, I see what's going on here. Tails has been hypnotized by man-eating tomato people? Yeah, that. Or our pal Tails has a crush on that girl. What? Who, Zoe? No, Styx was right. Definitely the tomato thing. Ooh, let me see. Oh, wait, I can't read. Day three. The cold is unbearable. For the first time in my life, I actually considered wearing pants. Desperate times indeed. Or we could just recycle the thing and take a blood oath never to tell us all. Side A should have one more L bracket. You mean T bracket, right? Uh... Tails, so help me. If you've been confusing L brackets and T brackets this whole time... Interesting. Did you try switching it to reverse? Hey, you're the tech whiz, not us. He whacked me with a pillow. Hard! I'm dizzy and I have serious short-term memory loss. And I have serious short-term memory loss. Yo, for the love of... Not this train wreck again. Capable is my middle name. I thought your middle name was The. A proper lady requires an escort for the gala. No. Please, I don't want to embarrass myself in front of fancy folk. Eh, fine. But I'm not wearing pants. Let's act out my sonic fan fiction. I'll pick something family-friendly. <laughs> no, no, not that one. Oh, definitely not that one. <laughs> not that one. Oh, here we go. How to say this delicately. You're a horrible roommate and nobody in this house likes you. Let's frame our statements with, when you do this, it makes me feel this. Fine, okay, uh, let's see. When you live here, it makes me feel angry. Because you're a horrible roommate and nobody in this house likes you. My breakfast is plotting to kill me. When what I really needed was my friends. Actually, you needed me. Your friends just made things worse. You're free now, free to express yourself. Oh no, the last thing we want is Amy expressing herself, we gotta do something! This is my male consort. We worked all day on that! Your shoddy craftsmanship brings shame on all hedgehog kind. And for that, you shall perish. I can't watch this anymore. You got no game, kid! Let me help you. You? But you're our sworn enemy! Nonetheless, in situations this dire, the bro code trumps the enemy thing. I'm able to materialize three-dimensional manifestations of characters from video games! There is a certain princess in a castle I like to meet. <clears throat> I'm off to collect gum tree berries for my holiday wreaths. Exploding berries? Little grenades for when the holidays get out of hand? No, they just look nice on your door. But pretty things attract government agents! And possums! And you know how horrible they smell! The possums, too. Coming in for a hard landing, Tails. You got me covered? Roger. Who's Roger? He's talking to me. Thanks, buddy. It all comes down to this one penalty kick. Can the young woman break the glass ceiling and prove once and for all that a female can be just as good an athlete as a male? You know, Amy, anytime someone calls attention to the breaking of gender rules, it ultimately undermines the concept of gender equality by implying that this is an exception and not the status quo. What? Just because I'm a meathead doesn't mean I'm not a feminist.